Times with gold crypto investing, and we're going to start off this morning on this Sunday. Uh, we're going to start it off from the plant or from the trailer city where I'm residing right now, and we're going to start with the Bitcoin price. We're going to get into some other things a little later on today, but for right now, we're just doing the Bitcoin price. And you can see yesterday, the last video that we made, that's your bearish scenario right there. And you can see we were up there yesterday. And then last night we made a video when we were down here and we said you could consolidate and you could even come down into here. And as long as you stay above this uptrending, uh, which used to be resistance, if we zoom out to the three hour, you can see it was resistance right here, right here, right here, a nice fake out. And now we're back here. And this is either going to form a nice, um, see that? Or you're going to come down and form a half a um, hold it as support and then kick up a little later on today as the futures market opens. So that's what we're watching out for in the Bitcoin price. How exactly it reacts today with the moving averages. And does this come all the way down and form this big on topping reversal pattern where you could say this is a big double top right here. Or not a big, but a local top and then another double top as you were shot down right in the same area as there. So the critical area is when this comes back down and back test this like it's gonna, does it slip back down and start trading back within to this uh, bear flag that I think we're in? Or do you kick off and try to get up to this upper target up there and maybe even make a run up there at the uh, 28, 29,000? We're going to watch that today. So that's your critical area as it comes back and back test that uh, lower support uh, that it established uh, the other day, Ethereum is in a similar spot you can see ethereum came down the other day and bounced off the moving averages to 200 day beautifully right see that you can see where the 200 day came down look at that came down beautifully right right here and then now we got on top of uh this major overhead resistance and that's where we got to see if it can hold if it holds this it'll continue up in the bull run or the mini uh, bull pump right and then your upper resistance is 2169. But if you slip back down underneath this 1678 mark, come like that and start using it as resistance, that's telling you it's bearish and it's going to come down here. So that's what we're watching out for. And a quick update, you can see Ethereum. If you break below the $1,669, you're going to come back to 1269. But if you can hold it as support, you can make a nice run up here to 2169, right? So that's what we're watching out for. Mid-ground support, 1685 underneath. Uh, major support, 1269. And major overhead resistance, if you hold it, 2157, right? So that's what we're looking at with Ethereum. A little Cardano love right now this early morning. You can see Cardano is sitting still right about where we were the other day after a nice pump. And then it came back down again. And you can see it's sitting on top of its support line right now. It was in its big long bear or a big long falling channel for a long long time we went over that yesterday it's been a very long time it's been months and months and months almost a year i believe from memory serving me right it started as we zoom on out here real quick i believe it started last september see that all the way back there look at this we need to zoom out even farther see that this bear this uh falling channel started and it's peak last August. So it's about almost a full year. And if you can hold this as support, what we were talking about yesterday, right? Of course, it won't hit the thing that I wanted to delete. 
Come on. So stupid this is. No, click that. If it can hold this as support, you see that's the daily time frame. We'll go back to the two hour. If you can hold this critical area as support, this 50 cent level that's breached this and now it's going to try to hold it as support. It's been former resistance. You can continue to kick off and make a run up there to that 59, uh, 60 cents. But if you come down and you get underneath it and start using it as resistance, you're going to trade back down towards that 42 cents. So this is a critical area there on the uptrending or the descending uh, support now that used to be overhead resistance. If you look back in time, you can see resistance right here with our industry exclusive drawing tool or resistance, resistance. And then if you go back farther, you can see a couple more times resistance back here uh, in June of 2022, a couple of months ago. And then you got resistance here in June of 2022, right? And then if you scroll back even farther, you can see a nice fake out right here back in May of this year. And then if you go even farther back, you can see it was trying to use it as support, much like where we're at now. You broke out uh, at the beginning of the year back here in March of this year. And then you came up, traded sideways and dipped back on a harshly uh, harsh fall below the moving averages. And then the moving averages started acting as resistance and it eventually forced you back down into this symmetrical or into this uh, falling channel. And that's where we're at now with current price. So it's another deal where you need to hold above this uh, major underneath support now that used to be overhead resistance, right? And then if we finish out with the old XRP price, you can see XRP is still on top of this major 37 cent area that we've been watching for for a little while. As you can see, since we've had the great dump, this was the old support line here when it was trying to bounce after the big dump. And then eventually, traded sideways for so long oops come on it eventually traded sideways for so long uh that you can see it traded tried to hold it tried to hold it could never get above the 100 day moving average in blue and then it finally flushed right and then we've come up several times here 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 and back there or up there trying to break back above it and now you need to hold that so you can make a nice run up to 48 to 50 cents just like the other ones, if you slip back below this and start using it as resistance, you're going to trade back down into the supply zone, right? The local regional supply zone. So that's what we're looking at in the old XRP. Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Peace and love. Peace and love.